Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove by mathematical induction 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6, where n is a positive integer which is greater than or equal to 1. Let's name this entire expression as P of n. It is having two sides, one is left hand side, that is left hand side is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 n square. And in the right hand side, we have n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Let's take p of 1. p of 1, we have LHS as only the first term. So, which is 1 square and the value is 1. And we take the RHS and in the RHS, wherever n is there, we are going to substitute 1. So, it is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 1 whole division by 6. So this is going to be 1 into 2 into this is 2 plus 1 3 whole division by 6 after cancelling get 1. So we find LHS and RHS are same. So LHS equal to RHS. Therefore P of 1 is true. We have to assume P of K is true. Now assume P of k is true. So we have to write the expression for P of k which is again 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 k square. On the other side it is k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 whole division by 6. Now as a part of the proof we have to take to prove to prove P of k plus 1 is true. So, we write P of k plus 1 expression which is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 k square and the next term is k plus 1 whole square which is equal to and in this expression wherever k is there we have to take it as k plus 1. So, the first term become k plus 1. When I put k as k plus 1 and there is one more 1, so it is k plus 2. When I put in this place k plus 1, so it will become 2 into in bracket k plus 1, then we have plus 1. Totally it is 2k plus 2 plus 1. So finally it is 2k plus 3 whole division by 6. Now we take the LHS, once again I copy this expression, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 k square, then we have plus k plus 1 whole square. Now from p of k, this entire value is already we have, that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till k square is this entire expression. So I am going to substitute this k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 till here. So, which is k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 whole division by 6. Then this is k plus 1 whole square. From both the term, we find k plus 1 common. So, when these two terms are taken common and the remaining will be only k into 2k plus 1 by 6 and from this there is a square but we take only k plus 1 common. So, remaining one more term will be k plus 1. We have to take LCM. So, this is k plus 1 into 2k square plus k by 6 plus k plus 1. We take LCM, LCM is 6 and this is 2k square plus k plus 6k plus 6 and here it is k plus 1. Now finally by simplifying we get this is 2k square plus 7k. We added both the k term and we have 6 whole divided by 6. Now we are going to use this splitting the middle term. 
that is the product is 2 into 6 the product is 12 and the sum is the middle term which is 7 so the numbers are 4 and 3 when you multiply we get 12 and we add we get 7 so this middle term we are going to write in terms of 4 and 3 so this is going to be k plus 1 into 2k square plus 4k plus 3k plus 6 whole divided by 6 now taking 2k common from the first two term and 3 common from the next two term so we are going to get k plus 1 into 2k open bracket remaining is k and the remaining is 2 after taking 2k common from this we take 3 common we get k plus 2 so we find in both the term the common term is k plus 2 so this k plus 2 we shall take it out so k plus 1 into k plus 2 the remaining is 2k plus 3 whole divided by 6 so this is nothing but RHS. So we can cross check k plus 1 into 2, k plus 2 into 2k plus 3. So we have already written the other side here. And this term we got. So we took LHS, we got the RHS. k plus 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 whole divided by 6. Since LHS is equal to RHS, we can say P of k plus 1 is true. Hence P of n is true for all n belong to the natural number that is a positive integer by principle of mathematical induction.